Hi everybody, Russ of the West Ham Network. Hope you're all safe and well. Happy Friday. And the good news is West Ham can't ruin our weekend for the next two weekends. So enjoy, enjoy. Hope you're all safe and well. Um, obviously, we drew Ghent in the um, in the quarterfinals with a potential semi-final against Anderlecht or AZ Alkmaar if we get past um, Ghent. And obviously, though, the quarterfinals will be played the 13th of April will be the away tie and the 20th will be the home tie. Before we get into it, just wanted to pass our condolences on to the Gold family. Obviously, we heard the tragic news of, um, of Jacqueline passing away, um, David Gold, the late David Gold's daughter, um last night a seven year battle with cancer and uh, she died um in, with her, her husband and a uh, a sister and family with her yesterday and a uh, awful time for the gold family at the moment obviously david passing uh a couple of months ago now um so obviously we pass our condolences on to the to the gold family at this very very sad time But yes, um, terrible news about about, uh, about Jacqueline. But obviously, we've got the Hammers headlines association with the KUMB dot com boys. Um, three stories, um, very much, very much Bundesliga themed, uh, with a couple of transfer rumours and one potential out as well. Let's start. Where where's all my where's all my pictures gone? Um, <laughs> he feels when he tries to get him back onto his screen. Um, so yeah, two stories. Obviously, we have the international break as well coming up. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens uh, with our boys who are out there. Obviously, Divine's been called up to the under nineteen squad. Obviously, Dex's been called up and um, and various others. Let's start with the the potential ins. Um, so we'll start with uh, this gentleman. Um, so apparently, according to Sport Blin, uh, West Ham reportedly interested in signing the Werder Bremer striker Nicholas Von Kirk, um, or Fulkirk. Uh, the Hammers are keeping a tab on him. Uh, he's 30 years old, so he's not really the Red Bull model, but he's a 30 year old striker. He's been in fine form this season. Um, Nicholas has scored 15 goals across all competitions and um, very, very, he's playing very, very well. He's in the peak of his career at the moment. Five assists as well. So that's 20 goal involvements this season already. Obviously, we've been quite poor up front. Um, and we're still in need for this reliable goal scorer. You know, hopefully Skomaka can can hit the ground running after the international break, having obviously scored yesterday. and Could have easily got one just beforehand. Um, and obviously, you know, Antonio has been quite underwhelming. Um Obviously, sporadically performing well. Danny Ings as well as he come in, he's still sort of adjusting himself to the uh, the West Ham way. That's for sure. Um, so we're we're sort of looking, and obviously potentially Antonio may be leaving in the summer. Possibly, you know, there's plenty of clubs who are after him during the January transfer window. So um, I wouldn't say it's a like for like, you know, I wouldn't say it's a like for like replacement, but a younger model for about about, about two years. But uh, yeah, I mean. I mean, Nicholas is is he knows where the back of the net is. Let's say that he's, you know, I'm sure he'd want the opportunity to showcase his his talents in the Premier League potentially. So it could be quite a tempting proposition for him. Um, whether the Bundesliga outfit will be willing to sell him is another thing, and how much you'd go for. He's got a contract with Werder Bremen until summer 2025. Remains to be seen if you know there would be a a deal on the table. Um, I mean, we've got insured with the Premier League first. Um, also, the other team that are looking at him is Everton. So, <laughs> potentially both could be in the Championship next season. So, um, I mean, it's likely he, unlikely he'll be joining a Championship club, but a Premier League club, potentially. Um, so, it's worth keeping an eye out, particularly with Antonio out the door. He might come in. But then, you know, you look at the likes of Mbamu, who, who sort of scored his first goal for the club officially. Obviously, he's de- he scored... And it was chalked off for an own goal um, in the conference earlier this season. Um, and I think he's he's the way to go. I was really impressed with what he played fantastically. But sport that's what Sports Blind have been reporting. Another um, rumour from Sports Blind is apparently a reigniting of a rumour we had in January. And that is a Salado B, uh, Becker. Uh, the Union Berlin winger. Uh, we tried to get him over the line in January. He is rapid. You talk about, you know, a speed merchant. He is that very much so. Um, we know that pace is, is something we lack. You know, the likes of Corne back in the side, you know, maybe he's definitely a speed merchant, a merchant rather. Um, 
And Becker is 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 definitely that as well. According to the report from Sportblind, we face competition from Forest and Everton as well. Um, I think it'd be a very good a very good addition to the squad, that's for sure. Um, particularly if obviously we stay in the Premier League. Uh he's rapid, um, he's he's direct as well, very similar to Corley, actually. a uh, very direct player, um, which we, we lack a lot of. I mean, the first thing Maxwell does when he has the boys turn and, and run forward, and Becker is the same. Uh, he can play an either wing, can play to 10 as well. Or an auxiliary striker, so he's got that sort of um, diversity in his, his positioning, which Noon Moyes likes. Um, he's currently this season thirty-six games for Union Berlin, eight goals, seven assists. Um, he's twenty-eight, so he's coming. He's in. He's in his peak at the moment, probably around thirteen million quid. So it wouldn't be a bad signing at all. I know it's not the Red Bull model, um, but he would be somebody who could come in and potentially hit the ground running, um, particularly in August. Um, so we'll see what happens there. But it's something we've been we've been linked with in January again. So um, yeah, we'll see. And lastly, a potential out. This is something we spoke about quite a bit uh, in January. Is Vladimir Sufal potentially going to buy a Leverkusen? Apparently, they still hold a really active interest in signing him in the summer. Now he's out of contract in June. We haven't really done many negotiations in terms of the extension of contracts, the options, and things like that. I think because we don't really know what's what league we're in first. Um, so. We've apparently got an, an, a, a two-year option we can extend to his contract. He's 30 at the moment, so obviously doing the mass, 32, coming to 33 at the end of his contract if we exercise the two-year option. Um, if we don't exercise it, he could leave in the summer for nothing. Um, so I think we'll do that to avoid losing him for nothing and then maybe potentially letting him go to Leverkusen and getting some money in for him. Um they're currently ninth in the in the German league, but they'll be in, in the market for a new uh, a new right back after there's, there's doubts over the future of Jeremy Fringpom, um, the former Celtic star. He's wanted by a number of Premier League clubs, i.e. Man United and, and various others. They've slapped a £60 million uh, valuation on him. So Sufa could come in as a short-term replacement for Frimpong if he goes to someone like Man United, for example. We know that Suva is highly regarded, particularly in Germany, due to his experience and proven calibre, particularly international level, um, Premier League, Europa Club, you know, European club level. He's, he's, he's played lots of different areas in terms of career, in terms of where he's been playing, in terms of the, the league standards. Um, it does maybe put a slight question mark on that right back position moving forward. We know Vladimir is not going to be the long term. Right back, he's 30. You know, the chances are he's, he's might get another year, 18 months out of him, maybe playing at the top flight, um, in terms of that full, full capacity. Ben Johnson, he, his future is a bit up in the air in terms of could he be the future right back? Um, you know, we've also tried to you know, Kieran there at the moment. Uh, we know Johnson's got a year left of his contract as well, which is up in the summer. Um, uh, which are just, just, just a year left in the summer. So when he hits it, so he'll be injured the last year of his contract next year. Uh, and that was only because we triggered a new uh, two-year option on him because um, he wasn't signing a new contract. But apparently they're having discussions now about this. Obviously, those will be quicker once we decide what, uh, not decide, once we know what league we're going to be in. Um, he apparently attracted uh, interest from Everton uh, during the January transfer window and an inquiry was, was made, uh, but he obviously remained a West Ham player. He's racked up eight Premier League starts um, among the 23 uh, appearances across all competitions, including obviously yesterday he played uh, and played 90 minutes. So uh, there's, there's a risk involved if you let Sufel go, but there's a risk involved um, if you keep him as well, because, you know, we've had... Um, Beginning of the season, maybe up until maybe January, he wasn't the same Vladimir Sufa we had had for the previous 18 months. Um, he's found some of his form, definitely. He found some of his form back. Um, but could he go, could that form like fall off a cliff again? Who knows? Let me know what you think in the comments below. Let me know if you like my sexy voice because I've got a cold again, as you can tell. Um, that's it. So take care. Stay safe. Stay warm. Stay humble. We've also just put up a video about all you need to know about our quarterfinal opponents, uh, KA Ghent, 
in terms of formations they play, the history, who their stock players are, that type of thing. Just so you've got enough information for when you're in the pub tonight, you're talking about the quarterfinal draw. So you know what you're talking about. We help you out. Russie B helps you out. Take care. Stay safe. Stay warm. Stay humble. Have a lovely weekend. West Ham, no West Ham to ruin it. Come on, you Irons. And I'll see you again very, very soon. Bye-bye.